want to be insulted by the best chef in the world. Somebody bad smell in here. Sewage. God. I can't believe people come in here. OK, well, I'll start off with the um, crab cakes, please. OK. I like the idea of the pesto lobster ravioli. I'll go for the Atlantic salmon uh, blackened, please. Call me a pig. OK. I'm, I'm hungry. Yeah, well, at least she's honest. Place stinks. I feel this place is a nightmare. I don't you haven't seen nothing yet. <laughs> Uh, who's this? That's Chef Ramsay. OK, no problem. Uh, one order of crab cakes. <laughs> Go. This place is falling apart. Let's hope the food's good. Oh, here come your crab cakes. Parsley everywhere. Falls apart. A bit like the decor. You touch it and it just disintegrates. They're not fresh. They've got it wrong on the menu. It's not a crab cake. It's a crap cake. Because I feel if I eat any more, I'll be crapping for the next 105 years. Are they frozen? I don't think so. Would you ask them for me? Sure. They taste frozen. Okay. Thank you. Doug, you make the crab cakes here, right? Yes. Are they frozen? I freeze them, yeah. He says they taste like they're frozen, that's all. Really? Yeah. Oh, fuck you. They are frozen. Mm hmm Damn. More parsley. Mmm. <laughs> Soggy. Strange taste inside. They're definitely not fresh. Uh, on that uh, Cajun salmon, you want you still want the uh, sautéed spinach and the pesto, or...? Yeah. Is pesto. Is it good? Well, it's just all separated and sort I, know, of I have no idea. It looks like an oil slick. Yeah, and it's never on the sides. It's, it's usually served on the fish. When I served him the salmon, he did have something to say about the pesto sauce. It was tainted, so to speak. And the salmon is just solid inside and dry. And... God. You can't expect customers to come and pay for that shit. You definitely have to try my homemade Greek cookies. And I bet you you're going to say you never had a better one. Oh, Chef Ramsay. He's a lot like me. I love him. When you eat that cookie, you lift it up and you buy it. <coughs> Fuck me. You got water? I'm surprised you guys are still alive. <coughs> he just choked on your mother's cookie. Ooh. I mean, I don't have an answer. I don't. Shit. Nervous, because this looks dreadful. Oh, my God. Hi. It's a pleasure to have you here. Not at all. Sorry, Gordon. And first name? Mike Landisberg. Mike, nice to see you. It's exciting, just like, oh, my God. Like, I'm meeting Gordon Ramsay. You know, to me, he's a god in the restaurant industry. Good to see you. Hi. Hi. Lisa. Lisa, nice to see you. God. Well, this is quiet. This, yes, is, this, this is, this is, this is, this is typical. All these staff, one, two, three, four. How many's booked for lunch? Nobody. No. no? When Gordon first came in, I was nervous. And I hope he's just not too hard on all of us. Are you going to sit here? Yes. This is the lunch menu. And what style of restaurant is it? It's new American type cuisine, salads, some wraps, a little bit of pasta. Sounds like a health spa. Um, where? When was the last time you went to a spa? The gym. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying? Are you trying to say something? I'm asking, when was the last time you went to the gym? Oh, yeah, not for a long time. When was the last time we had a salad? <laughs> not for a long time. Right, OK. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. OK, great. When you look at the way the restaurant is put together, you can identify instantly from the paper cloths to the drapes to the plants, to the ceiling to the colour, that this restaurant really is on its last legs. There's not long to go here. Mm. Award-winning Maryland lump crab cakes, seared North Atlantic salmon, sun-dried tomato basil. For such a small restaurant, the menus are huge. 
You need a couple more minutes? Or? I'm dying to taste the award-winning Maryland crab cakes. They are excellent. An award-winning? What award did they win? You could ask Billy. He knows more about it. I thought you'd know about it if you're the manager and it's on your menu. Well, I... I anyway. I... <laughs> I'll have a, a zucchini pancake. Okay. And I'll go for the seared North Atlantic salmon, I think. Thank you. God, that guy needs some spark. Beanbag. He is intimidating to serve. Okay, these are the Maryland crab cakes. Thank you. And the zucchini pancakes with thank chive you. sour cream. Lovely, thank you. Enjoy. Thank you. May I ask what you think of the crab cakes? Yeah. May I ask you not to stare at me? Absolutely. It makes me feel really uncomfortable. No problem. You know, I've got this cockroach on your back, you're trying to shake off, and I'd like to just sit and enjoy my lunch. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Mm. Award winning, maybe not. In terms of freshness, yeah. I wouldn't expect to find something so fresh in such a dreary, dreadful dining room. Zucchini pancakes. Stodgy, bland, and just pretty thick. It's like having a mouthful of glue. Oh, oh my god, what's that on top? Tomato base of balsamic Sun sauce. Mm -hmm. You smell garlic. Where's the garlic from? Is that on the green beans? The shallots. There no garlic? No garlic no? in any of the ingredients. And then on the beans? Looks like there's garlic on there. <laughs> Why don't you just check with him? I can smell it anyway. I will. That looks like garlic. I Thank mean. you. Billy? What? The string beans. You cook them in garlic? Yeah. Is there any shallots in there at all? No shells. Salmon very bland, and the sauce just heavy, soggy, and vinegary. Garlic everywhere. No one wants to come out to lunch and stink of garlic. That's for sure. This is a big booby. Wow. And it comes with fries and onion rings. Bloody hell. It just cascades off the plate. What's that? A scallop, a small one. That's a scallop. Yes. How rubbery that is. I know. Honestly. They were sent back early the same because they were I too mean, chewy and tough. Wow. It's disgusting. We're, uh, yeah. It's just dumped on here. Do they season anything? No. Bloody hell. Yeah, I'll bypass that, darling. Okay. Otherwise, I'll need a bypass. Okay. That was a big boy disappointment, let me tell you. Mark, the fries are soggy, and he said he will bypass because if not, he's going to need a bypass. Close. Well, let's keep in mind, he comes from a place where they think scones are delicious. <laughs> I don't think Lisa is taking things as serious as I am, and that's the problem. Oh, all right. Let's do this again. Good luck. All right. This is the last one. Okay, Grace. So. Thank you. Yes. How'd you eat this? Where'd you get? Where'd you get? How much lobster? It's in there. Let's see if I can put the lobster back together. There's the claws. No wonder this place is losing money. Jessica, have you seen how much lobster is in this roll? Mm -hmm. Look at mm -hmm. all that. I know. It's a whole lobster. There's more. Lobsters don't have six claws. Bloody hell. Does every sandwich have that in there? Yes, it's typically a, a pound, a little over a, a pound. A pound? Yes. That should be the whole weight of the lobster, not the actual weight of the meat. The portion sizes of everything are huge. That's part of the problem. Mm -hmm. Nothing toasted, soggy, disgusting. Mm -hmm. uh, darling, I'm done. Yes. We just show uh, Mark that I will. roll. Thanks, darling. Thank you. I'm holding on to my chowder. <laughs> Why? What's the matter with that? This is larger than a regular lobster. What? This. He said that the total weight of a lobster should be a pound, not the meat in itself. He said this is where you lose any money. I think Lisa not being around has drain mark, and it makes a difference on the food. What else sucks? A lobster all sucks. What? Yeah, it's too much lobster. I've never heard anyone complain about too much lobster. Well, it's like having too much money. <laughs> Mind blown. Here's your chowder. OK. All right. Thanks, Tony. You're welcome. Wow. Ay, ay, ay. Flowery, bland, no clams to be seen anyway. I mean, this is New England. That's what hurts. Jessica. You don't look impressed. Just have a little taste in there for me, please. Oh, it's very thick. 
It's flowery. It is. I wouldn't even paste my fucking wallpaper with that. Um, God, that's dreadful. Yep. That's just bland. I'll go with Mac Taste. Gloopy fucking glue. Yeah, it's not good at all. I would try this omelet here. Oh, it's crabs. Just split it with a cake. It's, it looks yeah. like crap. Yeah. <laughs> a crab omelet. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> Okay, I'll definitely take one of the uh, K omelets. Okay. Then I'm going to go after that for the uh, honey pecan salmon. Okay. And then um, mm. good old fashioned fish and chips. Oh, good. Yeah? Thanks, Sam. Excellent. <laughs> you just sat there staring at me like some big muscle head meatball. <laughs> Fuck me. Aaron. What? Why do you spell with your crab with a K on the. Because it's not real, it's my crab meat. I didn't want anybody to get the misconception. It's artificial. That's a guarantee, no complaints on this. Guaranteed? That's a pretty bold statement. Excellent. Thank you, my darling. Wow, look at the size of that. That's a lot of crap. And you haven't told me about the K yet. Oh, he said he wanted everybody to know that it wasn't real crab, it's artificial crab. So he spelled it with a K so there was no misconception. So it's fake crab meat mm -hmm. in a seafood restaurant on the water. Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck me. Holy crap. Rubber, tasteless. That's going straight to the trash. Okay. Oh, my God. What's wrong? Well, he hated it. Why? The fake crab was the number one reason. The omelet didn't go over well. No. He doesn't like the crab in there. I, I've never, I, that was already here. I didn't buy that stuff. I don't want to use frozen fish. It's not a product that I'm absolutely overly proud of. But at the same point, I'm held accountable for all the inventory that the owners had paid for. I was a fool so far. Why are we serving fake crab in an omelet? I don't. He did that. You're the general manager. Why did you, <laughs> why did you laugh? I give the choice. Have you been drinking? No. The crab was shocking, embarrassing, and fake. It tasted disgusting. Have you tasted that crab? No, I'm extremely allergic to crab and shrimp, so no I can't even There's eat no it. crab in there. I understand, it's monkfish. So, oh, my God. I'll let you finish your meal. General manager, my ass. I'm being blamed. He thinks that I should be allowing him to do that. Or letting him letting serve him. those types of Correct. dishes? Because it's fake crab. AJ is the general manager. He's supposed to oversee the food. And now I'm hoping and praying that Gordon says AJ is the one that's bleeding his business. OK, fish and chips. Certainly the best looking thing I've seen. Is that really rubbery? Is it frozen, the fish? I believe it's frozen. It is frozen. When you take a bite of that cod, it's almost like you've got a breaded condom in your mouth. Oof. He said it was rubbery, uh, too greasy, and it just said it tasted like a frozen cod, and obviously he hit it right on the button, so. This is the same recipe that we've used here forever, so I am for change. I want to change. Good. Wow, this one is the salmon. salmon. Look at that. Thank you, sweet. Damn. I think just so sweet. The dressing is like honey, and so much of it. Absolutely disgusting. Quite possibly one of the worst salmon dishes I've ever eaten. Yeah. 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 I don't like anything. That's one man's opinion. It's a pretty successful opinion, though. <laughs>